try and get down on the black then. Uh, 21. The red to the right of the black, of course, will be his next choice. 22. When he eventually moves the red just above the black in a couple of shots' time, that'll open another red up. But he's going to have to play one cannon very soon because the five reds that will be remaining around the pink spot are not going to be available in any pocket. 29. So there's 30 points in front. What do you want to give for another 40 from here? Thanks. 30. So red directly above the black pots, the bow pockets, and when he pots this black, and the next red, it will open up one more red. But that's, as Willie said, this is his last one available down here. Unless he can play a little cannon on maybe one of the reds here and open another couple. Well, he just played a soft cannon. 38. If he'd been in a better frame of mind, Ken, and uh, he may have played that cannon as like a stunned run through and just mm -hmm. played it half full, but he just wants to make everything perfect at the minute, and I don't blame him at all. 45. This is his highest break in the match so far now, and really needs to make it a frame winner. Well, he could, as you can see from that angle, he could run through for the black, but he's playing it to screw back for the blue. So he's going to need one more cannon. Yeah, not straight enough on the blue either, so... Well, he could just about hold it. Doesn't have to play the cannon hard when he gets on the blue. He'll just be playing the blue and just playing into those two reds at the right of the pink. So he needs a half ball angle here. That's one of those shots where you can play it gently. You don't have to play it hard the next shot on the blue. Right. Same thing with the green's a lot more difficult 50. than the blue. Okay, it's quite a big target. He'd literally like to get into the, into the gap of those four reds. He'd be unlucky not to kiss one of them half ball, Ken, wouldn't he? Yeah, something like this angle, off the green. But he's missed it, he's missed it, and that was such a big target, and that's, that's a big mistake. That's why I can't understand he didn't play for the blue. I mean, if you play for the blue, it's an unmissable cannon. Playing for the green, now and again, you can hit them poorly like he did there. Still seems to miss the cannon, though. It's, uh, when you're in this kind of out of sorts, I mean, lost three frames on the trot, four in total if we include the last frame of the evening se this afternoon session. Sometimes you're just trying to make sure you don't make any sort of mistake, you don't take a risk. Mark Selby, 55. <laughs> Good safety shot there for Mark, he's 56 points in front. Favourite to win a frame at last in this session. <coughs> Here's the shot he played, and of course, once, once he missed it, but what he wanted to do, we get a quick chance to show you before Mark plays there, uh, Selby plays his shot. Perfect line, you see, that's going to happen. So that's why it was such a big target. You expected him to get that. Well, Ronnie's having a go at this red. Big shot. <laughs> now, where's it going? Oh, well. That should be Mark it now. Let's have a look at the scores. He's 60 points ahead, so just this red to leave Ronnie O'Sullivan leading the snooker. Such a relieved Mark Selby will be. One.
No. No, Selby won. Oh, that's very uncharacteristic. Just trying to drop the pink in, and what's worse is that should Ronnie get the pink back on the spot? Pink, a couple of blacks, and maybe one snooker. Yeah, see Ronnie purposely trying to get the pink on the spot because that will certainly make things easier. He's just trying to drop the pink in, dead weight. And Seven. Eight. Fourteen. He'd like to play the second red of the two reds because it's leave that red where it is so he can get in behind the pink. Fifteen. Got this black and then he should get tight in behind the pink can here, shouldn't he? So Mark's going to be faced with that snooker now. Yeah, Nora. As we've seen so many times, he should be in his dressing room now, getting ready, having his cup of tea, thinking about the next. Five frames they've got to play tonight, but he's still involved in this frame. And Ronnie should get a good snooker here. Cue ball will be... 22. Tight as possible to this pink. And when you're struggling, Ken, like Mark is at the minute, everything kind of goes wrong, doesn't it? And he's, He's played that pretty well, actually, 22. because he's covered the right-hand side cushion. If he goes off the left-hand side cushion, the green comes into play. So there's plenty of room around the back of this red. <coughs> it's one of those, Ken, if you play it two cushions, there is room around the back, where if you play it one, you wouldn't have thought you could miss it, but two cushions just gives a bigger target. Well, this is an possible angle, but as you said, he's got to be careful here. Even if he hits the red off two cushions, he's got to be careful of the in off. Oh, excellent shot. Excellent shot. He's hit it on the other side. But he's not out of the woods just yet. Straight forward. Off the red, down behind the black again. Helps the fact that green's where it is means that uh, Ronnie couldn't really leave this red on unless he <laughs> hits it as hard as that. So that's certainly going to be frame over now. You're out with this one. <laughs> one. Uh, I can't let it allow for the crowd, saying. But he will be relieved. Mm. Cup of tea will taste a little bit better. He's got his first frame of the tonight's session Four. on the board. Still a lot of work to do. Six. He's four frames behind, but as I said, first to eight in, a long way to go. Nine. In this match just yet. He's certainly not going to throw in the towel. He's a fighter. 13. That's a nice little exhibition shot. Can he hit the pink? Oh. 18.
Well, the pink doesn't go in. Mark Salvi won mine. He's got his first frame on the board this evening. But it's still Ronnie O'Sullivan leads by four frames now, eight frames to four.